Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel and today we're going to be installing the Banks diff cover on an 05 Dodge. Banks Power has come out with their own spin on differential covers. This is the Banks Ram Air Diff Cover. A big shout out to Banks for sending us one of these for an install video. We have done another video on this, talked about all of the engineering points and all the characteristics of this differential cover uh, versus some of the other differential covers out there. So please look for that video on our YouTube channel. We'll link you to it inside of this video as well. Today what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be doing a quick installation on an 05 Dodge. This truck's Obviously, he's got the American Axle 14 bolt, 11 and a half inch uh, rear end. That's what this cover is for. This cover does not increase the oil capacity of the rear differential. So you will still need, uh, if you're going to reuse your fluid from your rear end, um, you're good to go. If you're going to change out the fluid, four quarts for the Dodges with the American Axle in them. Uh, don't need any limited slip fluid for these. So. Uh, the cover comes with an O-ring seal here, so you don't have to worry about grabbing a gasket. You're good to go as far as the sealing goes. And yeah, that's everything you need to know. So we're gonna show you how to drain the fluid out of these, install the bank's cover, and then show you what the finished product looks like. All right, we're under the truck now. We're gonna go, go ahead and show you how to drain the differential fluid. This is easy. I mean, you, everybody's got a different way of doing it. Doing it, I'll show you what I do. I go across my top bolts. I've already got all of those loose. And what you're wanting is you're wanting for the cover to loosen up and then that'll let the differential fluid drain from it. We use a garbage can lid to catch all the fluid because it's just like fooling with an automatic transmission, you're gonna have uh, fluid everywhere. I always like to take my very center bottom bolt out if the differential has one. That way, um, before I loosen up the rest of my bottoms, that way I've got it out of the way and I'm not trying to work on it while the diff is draining and be directly under where the fluid is coming from. So we're gonna zip, zip that out real quick. Okay, now I'll work around the bottom of the cover and just coming towards the bottom, I'll start loosening these bolts up until I've got them all loose and the diff can begin draining. And truck's got a few miles on it, so of course that cover's gonna be a little tighter to the rear diff. So this is a good time to have a uh, soft dead blow hammer on hand. There's one right behind you, Adam. And then that little striking scraper there too. Start from the side here. A little tap just let her drain like that so we'll let everything drain real good and then we'll be right back to you so when you're impatient like i am i'll go through and i'll take all my bolts out i always leave the last bolt at the top um, in it and just kind of let it free hang there but you know it's just about all the way drained out now so it will drain uh, the rest of the residual uh, fluid that's in there oil that's in there if you just take this cover on, on off so, take our last bolt out there and just let that drain and do its thing. So we're ready for cleanup and prep for our bank's covered seal here. I just use a uh, Rolock wheel, you know, and, and just make sure that it's, it's a material that's not gonna remove material from this. So make sure that it's, it's safe for, uh, for, for cast iron. So we're just gonna go ahead and prep our surface here um o-ring seal on this so it does really really well but that's not to say that you don't want to clean your surface up so go ahead and clean your surface up with the with however you choose to do it just make sure you get a good smooth surface so you've got a good seal on your on your bank's cover 
All right, before we put our new cover on, what I like to do is I like to go on the bottom of the diff right here and just get the residual fluid. Because what you have there is, it's always gonna be dripping there and it just won't seal real well. So I, I dry everything up at the very, very bottom first and foremost. Then check my cover, make sure everything's clean on it. Again, O-ring seal here, so just put our cover on. We'll get all of our bolts in and then we'll bring you back and fill you in on your torques and some things that you want to look for before you do your final tightening on this. After you've got your cover hung, bank sends you thread locker for your bolts here. Just a little bit will do you on these. I can get the package to work. I'll probably have to get my thread locker out of here. Just a little bit when I start putting my bolts in. So I'll remember to take my two out that I hung it with and put thread locker on those. Once you've got all of your um, hardware in for your bank's cover, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and torque everything down. You wanna take these to 30 foot pounds on these bolts and you wanna kinda go, you know, just in sequence. I go up and down, I'll show you here in just a second. So we're gonna torque these down. I'll just kinda show you what my sequence is. And these two I've already done, so I just went right straight above it. Now I'll come back down. And then I end up with the the top and the bottom bolt because this is there's an even number of bolts in here so that's what we're going to do that's how we're going to torque it down just keep running that pattern and then we'll get ready to fill all right next thing we want to do is you want to go through and tighten up your plug so the bank's cover has got a drain plug on the bottom of it it's just the normal 3 8 square so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tighten that drain plug down. That way, when we put our fluid in here, everything doesn't come rushing out. So tighten this down. And then you can actually feel on this cover from this port here, if you want to, you can remove the sight glass and feel from there. I'm gonna feel from the top. So that one there is half inch drive square. I've got it loose. We'll go ahead and pull it out have it ready. Then I'm gonna tighten this sight glass down so I don't have a leak here. So we'll do that real quick and then we'll come back and we'll fill it up. So you got your drain plug tightened up. You've got your sight glass plug tightened up if you're not gonna fill from there. I'm gonna fill from the top. The one thing that I like about the Banks fill port is you can actually clear it with these little oddball size um, quart bottles for diff fluid. So we've already got that done. 75.90 on this again, it takes just a little bit less than four quarts. So we're gonna go ahead and start filling up and we'll check back with you once we got the fill done and uh, see where it shows on the sight glass. We've got our rear diff filled now. Our banks cover, again, same uh, stock qu uh, quantity of fluid for this American Axle 14 bolt in this 05 Dodge. Uh, just shy of four quarts to fill this up and you can see in the sight glass here, I'll let Adam kind of zoom in on that. I've got it about halfway up the sight glass. So that's good for us on level and we're good to go. So now we're just gonna tighten our plug in the top. This again is 3 8 inch drive, just square drive to tighten it up. So we'll tighten that up so no contaminants can get in there. And as far as our installation done, is, as far as our installation goes, we are done. I'll let everybody have a look at the cover there. You just wanna look over it now for just residual leaks and stuff like that. If you've got oil pooling somewhere, you know, wipe it off and make sure it's not residual. If it comes back, there's a pretty good chance you've got a leak somewhere. We're good to go there. So now what we wanna do, Adam's gonna come off the tripod there and we're gonna move around, show you some of the points of the cut, the bank's rear diff cover as it applies to it being installed on the truck to show you some of the performance features that we're gonna get with this cover. All right, so we're gonna talk about some of the, um, the engineering properties or some of the properties of the cover that Banks is uh, done testing and research on to make this a better mousetrap 
um, of a different of a differential cover. So you have these heat ra uh, radiating fins here. These heat radiating fins are going to help to cool your differential fluid. Banks took that a couple of steps farther with doing their air scoops on this, and we're going to go behind the differential here in just a second uh, to talk about those to talk about those scoops. But with this cover. Uh, and with the this airflow that you're going to have because of these scoops, this is going to allow colder air to come and stay on these heat radiating fins. And it also eliminates the dead spot that you have with the air movement across the differential right directly behind the diff. You have a dead air zone. So that uh, is one thing that contributes to your differential oil heating up. This does a good job. Uh, according to Banks' testing of getting the heat across these fins and to be able to cool your differential fluid uh, so you're going to have a greater cooling capacity versus your stock cover uh, with these, this design. So we're going to turn the lights on and I'm going to let Adam move to the front side and we want to show you the fins themselves and talk a little bit about the design of the fins. Now, the fins themselves they are lower at two points on the differential to help catch the cold air that we want to go across our heat radiating fins. Now, these also are breakaway. So they are no lower than the lowest point of the differential, but they are lower on two sides of the differential. So there is a possibility that they could get uh, they could get hung on something if you, uh, lack of a better word, you maybe high center it or something that just happens to fall inside of that very, very small area. Not to worry about that. It will not hang up. Banks has designed this to be breakaway. So this actually will break away and, and be the, you know, the same size as your normal differential. It will be no lower than this lip here of your differential. So we're not going to worry about it getting hung up there. That actually breaks off. So that's the functionality of it. But you also have the functionality of the air direction that you have getting the air across the heat radiating fins. So very well designed there and I'm gonna as Adam comes back around I'm gonna do my light trick again for him I'm gonna shut that light off and we'll shut this light off back on so yeah uh, functional functionality it's gonna keep your differential temper temperatures lower um, banks is claiming that this is gonna get you a little bit better fuel economy as well um, so overall just a really really good product there's a lot of buzz around this product right now and from what we've seen from what they're telling us of the design of it and what we've actually seen. We agree with, with, with everything that they're telling us. Uh, we haven't done the wind tunnel testing, for lack of a better word, that Banks has, but I can't see why the design of this with the, with the air scoops on it won't work. So, had a star Banks rear differential cover. Um, you know, quick, easy install, everything you need, uh, except for the fluid comes with it, new hardware and everything. So if you have a question about Banks differential covers or if you have a question about any other Banks products, just let us know. Uh, like and subscribe to our channel. You can hit us down in the comments. We'll be glad to get, a, get your questions answered for you. So thank you for watching.